Hello, hello, Heather Jean here. I'm so excited to be here um, and to be sharing confidence with coffee this week, which is uh, about how we are inspired. And I was joined by the wonderful Jackie Neiman Jones, who was sharing kind of, you know, her own story and you know, being a child actress and being, you know, a, an author and being an artist and being so many um, artistic uh, expressions or, uh, you know, experiencing artistic expressions. And we got into some really interesting conversations that I wanted to share with you. So um, uh, first of all, let's have a listen to the clip. Ah, I love that. I love that. I love that so much that, you know, some of the greatest ideas are when we go inside, uh, you go, go inwards and allow ourselves that time. And, you know, I mean, I, Jackie and I have a lot in common, um, you know, in terms of how we, how, how things have happened in our lives. Uh, right now she's recovering from a car accident. I know car accident for me was absolute rock bottom at the end of a string and series of, of difficult times of, you know, my husband passing and financial ruin and um, recovering from breast cancer and, and having to move home and so many other things. And I think it's really easy in those situations to fall into victim mode. You know, it's really easy to go deep down into that well. And then it's so hard to get out the other side. Um, and so our conversation really talked a lot about empathy. And we talked a lot about, you know, kind of experiencing our, our own experiences and, and not going into victim mode. But the important thing is here is that when we're recovering, when we're at a point where we're coming back up from our you know, our, our dip in confidence and our dip in, in uh, difficulties is, well, two things. is first of all, that you don't have to go do it all at once. You know, we kind of go, oh, I'm in here and I want to be up here. So up I go. And, we, and, and you can't willpower that, especially when you're in recovery mode. And the second thing is gratitude. It is so important to take small steps towards where we want to go or the direction that we want to head in, but be grateful for the things that we do have and that we can do. And when, you know, language is so, so important for us and our words are manifesting from our thoughts and feelings inside. And when we change those patterns, then it changes our reality. But our reality is very much reflected back to us about what we're putting out there. So, I love that this is um, a all over the place conversation. You know, it's hugely about different kinds of art and how one art inspires another art. And, you know, a movie that Jackie was in when she was six years old, you know, many years ago, uh, has inspired other forms of art and that's inspired other things and so on. But also, you know, how important it is for us to be able to create and innovate and really kind of tap in. And that is feminine energy. We all have feminine energy. It, it's not about gender, but that feminine energy is where we get to be creative. It's where we get to be intuitive. It's where we tune into our feelings. And it's also where we can tap into our gratitude and our practice of gratitude and our empathy and self-compassion, you know, because it's it, it's important that we look after ourselves in order to look after others and i know that lots of people like to to be the givers and when we're the givers then we're depriving other people from ever getting to give if we are never accepting help so being able to accept help being able to ask for help those are difficult things and for a lot of us that's our imposter voice place that's certainly mine i'm i'm a very strong soloist where i don't like to tap into the feelings i like to will power my way through things and i could tell you it will unravel mine took decades to unravel but it will unravel you know, and um, what Jackie shares in our latest podcast episode is is that, you know, that creative outlet that she enjoys and, and tunes into um, and taking steps towards 
um, you know, being how we want to be and having the life that we want to have. And really, um, there's some great examples of, of, of intuition in, in Jackie's life story around, you know, like I could have ignored that and said, oh, that'll never work. But I tried it because I had nothing to lose. And I think there's some really beautiful messages in this week's podcast episode um, with Jackie and I. Um, so go and listen to it uh, wherever you get your podcast is Confidence Through Cabaret. You can also check out the vodcast right here on the YouTube channel under the vodcasts playlists. But you know, I I would say for sure, you know, just really kind of listen to what your intuition is bringing up, listen to what's kind of being created that you know is bubbling within you. And remember that you can't do it all at once, right? I'm, I'm, I'm the ultimate of, I want to do everything all at once, you know, and I want it now. Um, and it's, it's small steps and it's being patient. And that's where things like self-care come in. We talk a huge amount about that in, in confidence through cabaret. That's where self-compassion comes in about looking after our body, about accepting ourselves as we are. And even if you want to make changes, even if you want to do new things, whatever it is that you're looking to do, it starts from where you're strong, which is right now where you are today. And it's so important that we embrace that and that we accept that because that will tell us where our limiting beliefs are coming from and that will tell us where we need more empathy and self-care and that will tell us the small steps that we need to take. And we don't need to be be there. You know, this is the journey, right? It's not a destination. And that's that's a really important message here. So, so much to share from this episode around, um, you know, being in survive and thrive mode, about the importance of rest uh, and, and gratitude, intuitive energy, uh, empathy, um, really interesting stories about how um, Jackie's movie as a child has inspired not only her own life's journey, but so many others is as well. And we, um, Jackie made the um, comment, I guess, I was going to say the mistake of saying, but it wasn't a mistake at all. It was meant to be. Um, Jackie made the comment about, um, you know, being too old for cabaret. And I'm here to tell you that you know, Jackie is not a lot older than I am. And I struggled with, you know, I'm too old for your age, all of those things. There is no too young. There is no too old. There is no, and nothing in between. It's not about age. It's about mindset. It's all about mindset. All of it. Staying out of recovering from victim mode, um, creativity, tapping into intuition. These are all about mindset, really kind of getting behind our beliefs. I have a series of webinars coming up uh, around um, feeling good in our body. And in order to do that, it's not diet and exercise. It's not willpower. It's not, it's not actually changing anything except our beliefs. So feeling good enough, feeling worthy, feeling strong and, and, you know, empowered to do what we want to do and what we're designed to do. So check it out. You can send me a message. I'm Heather Jean on all the socials, Confidence Through Cabaret on all of the socials, except for Twitter, which is at YB Y-W-Y-S. And I am on Clubhouse as at Heather Y-B-Y-W-Y-S. Just show it to you there. And those six little letters stand for it is your body. You get to decide on your boundaries. It is your world and you get to decide on your path and it is your stage and you get to take up space and own it and raise your voice and share your message and have the results that you deserve and desire. Get in touch. Um, anything that you need around confidence in your personal life, work life or stage life, we are here to support your journey. Thank you so much for being here. Please like and subscribe. Check out the podcast anywhere you get your, your podcasts and check out the um, uh, vodcast on the vodcast playlist right here on Confidence Through Cabaret YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Mwah.